All right, everyone, welcome back to the land of Kel. I'm your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is episode 125, and today I will be discussing the evolution and the function of the step pyramid complex. From geological methane extraction and pumping into anaerobic digestion and biogas production. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, share, and stay tuned if you want to help support this channel and get access to exclusive research and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. Check out the members only channel and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. Today I'm rocking the new fifth degree nano gold logo. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the land of camp. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats, for all you cat lovers out there, and Egypt Eats for food reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone. The second 2024 Land of Chem Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour is on and bookings are now available. If you're interested in joining to see the pyramids for yourself on this epic adventure experience coming up in early winter later this year, please send me an email to contact at thelandofchem.com with the subject line Egypt Tour 3 and I will send you the full tour itinerary and pricing details. Thank you all so much and I will see you soon here in Egypt. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And to begin, in book one of the Land of Chem series, I proposed that the Step Pyramid of Saqqara was designed as an anaerobic digester for the production of methane biogas, an idea that is compatible with the alchemical abilities of the dynastic Egyptian civilization, incorporating the deification of cattle that provided the raw material catalyst and the esoteric symbol of the scarab beetle, representing the dung collection phase of the methane manufacturing process, with the original configuration of the structure, including the northern inlet shaft, the central digestion chamber, and the southern outlet shaft, and that the immense tunnel system underneath the step pyramid was added later as a part of the funerary complex that was installed within the Step Pyramid during the reign of the Pharaoh Djoser. But in today's episode, we are going to push the envelope even further and evaluate the potential evolution in the function of the Step Pyramid complex, addressing both the underground tunnel system and the 11 vertical shafts that you can see here as a part of the original system designed by a civilization possessing extensive geological knowledge, not only regarding metallic ores, but also naturally occurring features like natural gas or methane deposits. As you can see here in this diagram of a modern well and pump system utilized for the extraction of methane from coal beds, where water is pumped out of the coal deposit here, to reduce the pressure within the system, releasing the methane gas, which then travels up the well into the extraction pipeline. And I believe that this may have been the original function of the step pyramid complex, far predating the dynastic era chemical manufacturing process implementing biogas digestion. So let's first take a look at a few things before we dive into the mechanisms of operation. First, here is an image showing the cap of an organic material bearing bedrock associated with a naturally occurring methane seep. And this is how natural gas forms within the Earth's crust, where deposits of organic material are broken down 
and transformed into natural gas, which can then be extracted and pumped out of this type of bedrock. And this is what the bedrock looks like inside of the step pyramid. As I have shown in numerous previous Sunday site visits to the step pyramid, the bedrock from which the chambers of the step pyramid were excavated appear to contain these deposits of organic material that are associated with natural gas deposits. And no, this black material is not soot covering the inside of the chamber. This is the real color of the bedrock inside of the chamber, and it is completely different from the bedrock in all of the surrounding areas, which is the normal yellowish color of limestone or sandstone. This is a direct indication that the location of the step pyramid was selected intentionally to tap in to this unique natural gas bearing bedrock. And here is an image from the tunnel system below the step pyramid showing this same grayish black color resulting from decomposed organic material deposited in the bedrock. And a few more here from my colleagues at the Acida project from inside of this tunnel system showing the bedrock below the structure. And I included this one here so you can see that yes, there are funerary apartments and decorations that have been added inside of this tunnel system, including these white walls and the blue faience tiles that you can see here that are supposedly to adorn the burial chambers of the Pharaoh Djoser. But you can clearly see here specifically along the edges that this was added into a pre-existing tunnel system and the extremely dark colored bedrock that you can see here is very indicative of natural gas bearing deposits. So how would this system work to extract the methane gas from the bedrock? If this tunnel system below the step pyramid was filled with methane rich bedrock. The first step is introducing water into the system under pressure, as you can see here at the bottom of both of these images. The water that has been pumped into the methane gas bearing bedrock seam is then pumped out of the deposit to reduce the pressure, allowing the methane gas to flow up into the well and into the pipeline for extraction. Well, it just so happens that we have all of these systems in place at the step pyramid complex, starting with the quote unquote dry moat, as they call it, as you can see here, which in my opinion was absolutely not dry. But this was a water source to feed water into the subterranean system. That water could have been introduced into these bedrock deposits through one of these inlet shafts here that were discovered by the Latvian scientific mission to Saqqara in 2007, where they used ground penetrating radar to investigate the subterranean structures below the step pyramid. But first, remember that the step pyramid was not originally a pyramid, it was a single level Mastaba platform as you can see here in yellow. And these 11 vertical shafts would have been open and accessible on the eastern side of the Mastaba platform. Now, water is introduced from the above ground reservoir through the inlet shaft, as you can see here, filling the internal system and the central extraction chamber with the plug blocks within these 11 vertical shafts lowered to maintain the pressure inside the bedrock natural gas deposits. These blocks could have then been raised, reducing the pressure within the system and allowing the natural gas to flow out of the deposits and fill the extraction chamber as you can see here in yellow. Water would have then been drained out of the system through this outlet shaft, which would then drop these blocks 
back into their original position. And more water was then introduced from the reservoir, forcing water back up into the extraction chamber, pushing the methane gas out of the chamber into the extraction pipeline. So now let me run the system a few times so you can see the extraction and pumping process in action. All right, and as I said before, the step pyramid was not originally a pyramid. And a simple extraction pipe coming out of the single level Mastaba platform could have been used to remove the natural gas from the extraction chamber system. Now, let's say that I'm wrong about the natural gas bearing bedrock below the step pyramid. This system could have still been implemented for the pumping and distribution of natural gas that was being well mined in the Western Desert. And this is exactly what they do in Egypt today with the natural gas fields out in the Western Desert over here being connected to a system of pumping and distribution systems that push methane gas all over Egypt. And you can see here that they also have natural gas processing facilities and pipelines in close proximity to the Step Pyramid, such as the Calda Petroleum Processing Facility that you can see here in Dashur, as discussed in episode 85. And these so-called Mastaba systems could have been utilized across the Western Desert and along the western bank of the Nile River as intermediary pump stations to distribute natural gas around the country for various domestic and industrial applications, such as pumping methane into the Red Pyramid for the production of ammonia. Now, this brings me back to the evolution of pyramid building as explained in episode 27, the function of the pyramid body where this gas extraction and pumping system was originally encased in a single level platform known as a mastaba. But as the volume of gas being extracted and pumped increased, additional levels of stone were added on top of the structure for several reasons, mainly to ensure that pressure within the system was completely contained and to prevent any leaking of methane gas into the atmosphere. And thus, we have the evolution of pyramid building from a single level mastaba into the first stepped pyramid. And that design was later implemented into all future pyramids for the same reasons, with the tetrahedral shape being the ideal configuration to accomplish these tasks. And when the step pyramid became inoperational, its internal chambers could have easily been repurposed to manufacture the exact same chemical, methane. But the biogas digestion method, instead of extracting it directly from the bedrock, which led to the construction of the agricultural storage silo facility here on the western side of the complex, as discussed in episode 28. So what I have presented today could explain the evolution in the operation of the step pyramid complex, addressing the tunnel system and vertical shafts as original functional features of the structure. But either way, using natural gas extraction from the bedrock or biogas digestion to produce methane, the step pyramid complex is a fully equipped gas processing and pumping facility that is even equipped with storage containers, as you can see here, that are conventionally explained by Egyptologists as being quote unquote dummy chapels. But there is still one more important feature to explain. This, the red granite container and plug system that will be featured in an upcoming episode. So please subscribe.
and stay tuned. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was episode 125, the evolution in the function of the step pyramid complex. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and in this week's Sunday site visit, the breathtaking footage from our research expedition to the largest structure that was ever constructed in ancient Egypt, the Karnak Temple in Luxor. This is an episode you do not want to miss, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube if you're interested in the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing physics and chemistry and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world. If you want to help support this channel and get access to exclusive research and unreleased footage, check out the Land of Chem members only channel and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats, for all you cat lovers out there in Egypt Eats for food reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's episode, so I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.